Booties for Black Girl Nerds. Well, Jennifer, you blew me away with your incomparable performance of memory. Thank you. Um, what was your favorite memory on the set of Cats? Oh, playing on the set of Cats. <laughs> oh, my God. Seeing her dance for the first time, I, it really shocked me. I was like, wait, she's playing, you know? <laughs> Just being, being sitting next, it's so many things. Yeah. Um, look, watching the Les Twins, all the dancers, it's yeah. just it, it was just a great experience. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I mean, so many beautiful experiences in this film. Yeah. And Francesca, this is your first foray into acting and being with this ensemble cast. Yeah. What was it like working with these actors and did they mentor you in any way while you were filming? I was just completely, yeah, um, just couldn't believe um, that I, this was also my first time and that I was working with, you know, literally like royalty and legends, like iconic people. Um, yeah, and just watching and learning, not just their performances on screen, but just how they, you know, were off screen as well and so inspiring in every way. Yeah, uh, with the film, it's a Broadway play and um, Jennifer, you've done mm -hmm. this before. Uh, when you adapt these songs and, you know, you're, you're taking on these new songs, mm -hmm. do you, add creative liberties to it, or is it important for you to keep with the same melody as the original song intended? Definitely keep it as true to the original as possible. Mm -hmm. It's classic songs. They're already great. It's like, and, and, I, and I love keeping them that way. That's why I want to sing them, because they're so great as they are. But then my job is always to give it new life. And at times, that's the challenge. I, what is left to do with the song? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so bringing the emotion to it and, and, and help like tell the story, um, I feel like was the, the thing that made it what it is, you know, um, by giving it, by telling the story through emotion. Did either of you study the behavior of cats while you were filming <laughs> this? Yes, we went to cat school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that like? I mean, cat school. Explain that to us. That was scary, the thought of it at first. When it's like, you, you have, like, look at our schedules. Cat, cat, cat school. What's cat, cat school? Cat school? Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, how does a human move like a cat? Like, what? You know, it's a lot going through your mind. But being able to learn about more about cats. Like, I grew up with cats. Now I have two new cats. But now I have more of an appreciation and an understanding for them because of cat school. And I know how to move like them a little bit. You know, like, so, you know, yeah. What scenes resonated with you the most while filming this? Um, which scenes resonated the most? I mean, I just remember mm -hmm. watching Jennifer singing Memory and just being absolutely moved, like, every single time, just, um, and the whole cast, just, yeah, like, genuine emotion. And I think I remember asking Tom Hooper to actually film our reaction as she was singing it rather than, you know, mm. like, um, because we were all genuinely, like, tears rolling down our face mm -hmm. every time. It was just incredible. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, for me, just watching, the first of all, the ensemble of dancers, yeah. I take my head off to all of them because they really embodied, literally, the story, and they was completely into it from start to finish each and every day. Because Isabella goes in and out. But every single day, Francesca, all of them was just like really in it and working so hard. And I just have the utmost respect for that. And finally, last question is, um, what did you learn from making this film, aside from cat behavior? <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, I learned um, literally things on a very basic level. Like yeah. I've never been in front of sort of cameras before, like literally learning all the language about, you know, where you look into a camera, where you stand. Yeah, like, had no idea. Like, when they're calling first positions, I was like, what does that mean? Like, um, so yeah, on like very basic levels. And and then, yeah, just learning um, to say yes to more amazing opportunities, because I never imagined doing something this incredible. And yeah, I'm yeah. open for more now. Yeah. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. You want me to answer? Oh! <laughs> uh, I guess opening my mind up to more challenging things because this, you know what, for me, I remember telling Tom Hooper on set, like, this is like real movie making. You know what I mean? Like, seeing the set and how magnified it was, using our imaginations, 
um, preparing for a character where no, I did not pick up the script one time. I've never done a film where I didn't pick up sides, half sides or pick up a script because it's all through song. You know what I mean? So it's like a okay, so I'm not picking up a script. I, okay, I don't I will try to go rehearse and it's like I don't really got nothing to do. But then I realized it was more of a mental preparation and emotional preparation. Mm -hmm. So being able to trust that, it, it it helped me step into a whole new space, which was kind of scary at the same time. Like, okay, I guess I'm going to be ready on the day. I don't really know how to tell right now. You know what I mean? So right. that made it so different. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.